Hey guys, it's Amy. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a haul for you. So I have so many things and it is crazy because I was kind of accumulating and thinking that I was just going to save things for different hauls. So a beauty haul, clothing haul, a bargain haul. And basically it's just such like an amalgamation of everything that at this point I'm just going to film one big haul. So I'm going to call this a collective haul. It's really random, but I basically shopped at mostly um, Sephora, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and where else? Target. I did a little bit of Target shopping. So it's going to be a little bit random. I apologize for that, but it's just what I've been accumulating during this month. Quick, no, no, no rattling. Thank you. Cat wanted to rattle back, so. So the first thing I picked up at Target in the little dollar section, and this was $5, and it's a little pineapple bowl, which I think is so cute and festive. So you could put candy in this. You could put um, some kind of snack if you were entertaining, um, just to go with like cocktails or drinks or something. But I just thought it was absolutely adorable, and I will definitely find a use for it. I actually bought two of these, but these were also at Target in the dollar section, and they are just little cups. I just thought that they were really bright and festive, and I love the little flower detailing on it so really really cute and I just thought it was so so summery in the dollar section right now so you should definitely check it out next are a few things that we actually picked up today at Marshall's my mom came up for Mother's Day so we did a little light shopping I also bought her a pair of sandals so she has already left so she took those with her of course but they were just some brown born sandals and they were a really good deal too so you can't beat that so the first thing I actually got was another one of the Algenus Genius by Face Peels. So this, I have actually previously bought one of these, but you cannot beat this deal. This retails for about $85, and it's a completely full size. It was sealed up. It was actually in a case, which is great. Um, so it's only $19.99, which is crazy, but that's your actual peel. And then it also comes with here like a whole stack of the cotton rounds that give a little exfoliation so they're really nice and I am so happy to have another one of these you just cannot beat this value I also found a Marc Jacobs highliner in the shade navy noir and this was only $7.99 these usually retail for 20 something dollars I can't remember if they're 24 or 22 but it is a navy color so that is what it looks like here and then I will swatch for you too so that is the color there. It's just a really deep navy, really pretty. And then up close, it has a little bit of a sparkle to it, which is really nice. I also picked up a little pajama set. So this one is a little pair of shorts and a cute little tank or spaghetti strap, whatever you want to call this. Um, so it has two straps and it says, good morning, gorgeous really cute I love the little like girliness of it with the little straps and then the shorts are just pink with polka dots so that's what they look like I just thought that was a really cute set and it was only $14.99 so really cute for a summer morning getting up having some coffee just looked ideal to me if you don't like seeing underwear then I would skip down just a little bit but I just picked these up they are absolutely brand new they're uh, Jessica Simpson underwear and I got them from Marshalls so they are just a three pack and I just needed some more comfortable underwear um, I like to just sleep in something really soft and comfortable at night they're just a bikini style so I won't show you like every little detail but basically a three pack for $8.99 which is normally uh, 36 for the three pack so I thought that was really nice and they're just pretty and girly I actually found this one on clearance so it's actually DKNY and it has a chrysanthemum pattern on like a big flower pattern but it is so springy and beautiful I just could not pass it up and it was only $18 it was on clearance and this is a king size so I thought that was amazing and I can never have too many blankets like Blankets are a weakness of mine. I also showed you guys in my vlog a, oh, a birthday present for a friend at work. And so I actually picked up this tissue paper. It was only $2 at Marshall's. And it has like these ice cream prints. And then you get the little scallop tissue paper. And $2. And who doesn't need tissue paper? I mean, there's always um, birthdays and other occasions coming up. And it has a nice little range of um, like springtime color so perfect for birthday so a lot of things are actually in this box that I purchased so it's rather big but I'll try to show you that is the box it is basically a white and gray like leopard print with gold trim so I picked that up at Marshall's it was $9.99 and then I have this box pretty much 
full of things that I've been finding. So I'm going to go through them really quickly. I ordered from loveeyelashes.com and they have a really cute little packaging that they do. So I ordered six pairs of eyelashes, so I'll quickly show you those. I first got uh, Kara 43, so that is what they look like. Nice and fluffy. I got Kara 48. Kara 213, which these are like a little bit more natural and wispy if you like that look. The 213, um, really good if you're just starting out too and you don't want something too dramatic. I also got three creme lashes. So this is number 48. This one is a really a little bit more on the full side, a little bit more dramatic look, but they're really pretty. These are both creme shop as well. So this is um, number 107. These are really long, but they're nice and wispy. 107 and then finally number 43 in the creme as well and these I like the little taper that they have I really like lashes that start off really short on the inside and get longer those are my favorites so I got these six pairs and they're only a dollar 49 a piece and so you cannot beat the price and hopefully I will still get many uses out of them. I also picked up this little set of Ula Henriksen sprays I got this at TJ Maxx so it has the truth facial water it has the nurture me and the grease relief so it's a little three pack these aren't full sizes but they are a really really good travel size uh, two ounces each and it was nine dollars and I just already love these sprays you can use them to set you can use them to prep the skin I really like the nurture me before moisturizer just to add a little bit of hydration even before moisture I picked up one of the Harper Lee coffee scrubs so the coffee and coconut I could always use a backup of this the extend your youth dual fusion water so it's a cleanser makeup remover for face and eyes this is by dr. Brandt and I actually found this for $9.99 which I thought was a pretty good deal and I've actually tried a small size of this and I do really like it so very happy to have another I also found on clearance what I thought was a really good deal is the Shiseido Ibuki purifying cleanser so this ordinarily is around $30 I believe um, at work we actually sell it at Sephora still so it's a purifying cleanser and the Ibuki line is great for someone who has a little bit of like unpredictable skin or if your skin like is kind of all over the place you know it's dry it's oily it's breaking out it's clear it's kind of unpredictable so really happy to have this and it was on sale for $10 which I thought was insane because I do really like the brand and I like these products. Next something really crazy that I picked up is by Peter Thomas Roth is the Cucumber Detox. So it is the foaming cleanser. So a funny story I actually bought two of these. I gave one to my mom for Mother's Day but I bought the first one. They had no price tag on them so I just took it to the cash wrap and I said hi you know I just want to see how much this is and she said oh I'll just grab something and scan it it'll be fine. She scanned something that was um, $5.99. I was like whoa six dollars because this is ordinarily about 35 I thought that was great. I went back a few days later and actually saw another one still no price tag so I took it up told her the deal and she actually rang it up for $4.99 so I got it one for five dollars and one for six. So I gave one to my mom and I think this one will be going in my next giveaway hopefully when I hit 500 subscribers is when I will do another giveaway so a really really nice cleanser next I picked up Shea Moisture fruit infusion coconut water weightless shampoo and cream rinse so I got both of these these are ordinarily I think around 12 um, 10 to 12 dollars they were 6.99 a piece but I love that these are free of sulfates um, no glycols no phthalates no parabens no mineral oil and of course no animal testing so really happy to have this and I'm almost out of my red um, I was using the Redken volume which I do like but I want something a little bit more natural for my hair I picked up this little like it's like a jewelry dish or you could use it for other things of course but it says can't touch this and it's a little cactus hopefully you guys can see that okay but it is so adorable and I just love that it doesn't have any spines on it though I kind of wish there were like little like faux spines but it's still super super cute and it was only $3.99 I just I couldn't leave it there it was so cute so got two things from a friend at work who saw these and wanted to pick them up so the first one is a turban hair towel so it was a two-pack and she left me the pink one the other one was a floral which she said was too grannyish for me <laughs> so I thought I, know, I thought it was cute too but it's like a little turban so you actually like put it on and then you like wrap your hair up in it and I'm really excited to use it I wanted to use it the other night and I was like no I'm gonna put it in the hall first because then it's gonna be all like nappy and not new <laughs> so I waited so I'm gonna be using this very very soon the next time I wash my hair also got me one of these silicone cosmetic sponges 
funny story is I actually meant to already use this in a video when I did the weird makeup brushes, which I will link that down below. I actually meant to try this out at the same time, but I kept it at makeup brushes. This is so weird feeling, which most of you have probably seen this, but it is so, so odd. Like, I feel like all you could do with this is just kind of like rub it on and I feel like you'd still have to blend it out afterwards. Unless your skin is like perfect. I don't know, mine needs some finessing, some working in. So really interested to play with it though. And it's just such a funny thing to feel. It's almost like stress relieving to play with this to me. So I'm still really excited to have it. Picked up this um, Batiste, it is dry shampoo. It's the Fruity and Cheeky Cherry for $4 which I thought was a decent deal. Always in need of a backup of dry shampoo. That's a staple in my routine because now I'm trying to wash my hair about once to two times a week. Yeah, I know that sounds a little crazy, but usually it's twice a week. So I try to make sure that I'm using dry shampoo in between. I don't like to feel like I have dirty hair. Picked up on a whim, this BH Cosmetics Glamorous Blush Palette. So this was only $5.50. I think they're ordinarily around $10 to $12. So they're not pricey to begin with, but I was just interested to try it. I've never tried anything from BH Cosmetics before and it is a really cute blush palette and I just like scarred one of them but that is what it looks like. It has a lot of fun colors. I'm probably going to stick more in like this range here but I also thought it would be fun to try these as shadow because I'm so into red shadows. You can see I did a really really soft warm look today but warm tone eye looks are kind of like my go-to now so I'm really excited to just try this out and see what the deal is with this. I also picked up another box. I know this one's kind of random. It was only $3.99 and I just thought it was so adorable. The polka dots, the bow, the pink and the white and the black. It's just all super cute. I was thinking more for like future vanity room storage, which you guys are probably really tired of me even saying future vanity room, but I just thought it would be really cute in that even if it's just like sitting up on the desk by my new MacBook Pro. Oh my god. Like sitting there would be so cute. Now, the last thing that I picked up at TJ Maxx and Marshalls is I actually found a Marc Jacobs eye palette. So it's the Style Icon number seven. So this is the T's. And I was so excited when I found this. These are normally, I think, around $60 to $65. And this one's on sale for $20. So it's a beautiful packaging. I love the sleekness of it. I've always wanted to buy these palettes in every single color, but I just could never talk myself into it because I have so many palettes and it is really pricey. Um, but it's beautiful packaging. You can see there and you actually remove this and that is what it looks like super gorgeous especially with I have green eyes that tend to either look a little green or a little hazel or sometimes even a little blue so the purples are going to be perfect to kind of bring out that green and make it stand out a little bit more so I'm thrilled to have this palette it's so gorgeous I did get a couple in my gratis as well that I was able to pick up and the only downside with those is you don't actually get the case. So it's just like on a little like pan almost. So no case, but really excited to have this one and the others and put them on because they are gorgeous. I got just a few things from Forever 21 in the yellow bag. Got two pairs of socks and I love the socks that like match up to each other. So cute. I mean, if you have kitties, you have to like these. And I also got these which are coffee and a donut. When I saw these, I was really thinking about this dish and I was like, oh, that's so cute. So I got a pair of cactus earrings. How adorable. And then I got two clothing items. So I was really feeling this like tunic-y kind of vibe, but this one is velvet. I'm loving my velvet dresses that I got from Forever 21. This one has a hood, but it is basically a lavender velvet, which I think is a good color for my skin tone. I don't know correct me if I'm wrong. I just love it. I love like the 90s vibe that you feel when you see like this crushed velvet, a little slit in the side of it. A cooler night during the summer, maybe with some leggings too, just something really comfortable. Going shopping, going to a comfortable place to eat. I just thought it was adorable. In a 0x for 1990. This one I was super excited about because I love, love, love the detailing of it. But this one I also picked up in a 0x for 1790. 
and it is again kind of this tunic style but it has the crisscross in the front so it goes it's kind of a little bit towards the low cut so you'll see a little bit of cleavage with it it has like the sporty little stripes on the side which I thought was fun and different and then it just goes straight down and it does have that little rounded seam bottom so really comfortable just something easy to put on but I love the little detailing in the front of the little ties so I thought oh yes so I used the rest of my gift card and I only spent like four dollars I think so that wasn't bad I lied I got two more things at TJ Maxx just kidding so the first one is I picked up the Holika Holika um pig nose pour pack clear blackhead three-step kit so that is what it looks like. I've actually seen these before and I know that they are Korean. I was really interested to buy them in the past. So it includes five of the three step masks. So really excited to try this out. And it's supposed to basically like clear out your pores. So yay. And I got the Crim Shop Calm Down Skin Soothing Pink Grapefruit Animated Face Mask. So they are the cat version. So they actually do look like a little cat mask when you put them on. So maybe I will do an Instagram on that. So you guys should follow me on Instagram to see the stupid things that I do but this was for $4.99 and you get three of these now I'm done with TJ Maxx I'm going to show you guys everything that I got from Sephora a bunch of samples because I placed like three online orders um if I've already tried these they'll just go in my next giveaway I've renewed VIB Rouge through 2018 which is kind of shameful I've spent a lot of money already this year um, but it took me to May, so at least it wasn't like January. <laughs> the Pro Mini Flawless Airbrush. So I think this one is just really meant for foundation, but it's just a little mini brush and it is red. It is pretty, um, and I will say it is better than what you've gotten in the past, which is like a tiny blush or a tiny lipstick. I do think that a brush is better, and Sephora Pro brushes are good quality. So I will enjoy using this. First thing I got are two of the Sephora, they're the Contour Matte gel eyeliners and I got two basically kind of like weird colors I got beautiful monster and sly like a fox these are a little dried out they were on like super clearance sale so they were like seven dollars or something like that maybe use a lighter I don't know but that's the two colors you can almost not see that one and you can see like it was a struggle to get a good swatch out of that one that one's kind of hard to swatch but you start to get the idea so I don't know I'm gonna try maybe using like a lighter and warming them up see if that helps but I would not recommend ordering the contour matte gel eyeliners online just because I think they are a little bit too old and they've gotten a little dried out at least these have so I picked up one of the urban decay blushes so it's the afterglow eight hour powder blush and these I think are discontinued as well but I got the shade indecent so it is basically like a bright peachy orange so that is what it looks like kind of more on the peachy side so I think it'll look pretty especially if we want something a little bit bolder because it does have a hint of orange that I think these were on sale for about 15 so not bad is Felicia the flamingo in a lip balm so she's basically like a little flamingo float but it is a little flamingo and she is on a little float hopefully you guys can see that it's so cute and you just pop it open this is actually really cute for like a teenage girl someone who's a little younger and you just want like a little lip balm but I thought this would be super cute to have at the beach and it's so cute in summary even if it just sits somewhere I love her and she was only ten dollars picked up another sale item so it's the Sephora tint infusion it's the ethereal natural finish foundation drops I got ivory when we had them in stock a lot of the girls at work were picking them up they are um discontinued at this point but they were picking them up because they said they were really great they didn't have any lot of the light colors at my store so i just decided to pick them up when i saw they were available online so supposedly these are really good or even just to like a mix i might do a separate video on the contents of this and maybe like is it worth it but it is the sephora favorite sun kiss glow so it's bronzer and highlight essentials and you get everything here and then of course you get it in a bag so it has a lot of good things in it it has nars lip gloss and orgasm Too faced bronzer urban decay eyeshadow you get a highliner in rococo rococo 
You get an ambient lighting bronzer and a little travel size and a pressed opal. I think this was a really good deal. It was a 45, but you do get two full size items. The rest are deluxe sizes. So I'm really excited to play with these and see what I think. And I might do a whole video just kind of like swatching and playing with these and letting you guys know what I think about it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my haul. I know it was long. I hope it wasn't too long and boring, but that is everything that I've been picking up in the month of May. I'm going to try to cool it now and stop buying so many things, but I can't make any promises. So you might see another haul soon. <laughs> but if you guys are enjoying my video, then definitely give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos in the future, and I will see you guys in my next one. Love you guys. Bye.